Heisenberg is not very happy today. You know why? Because a show that he was in, Better Call Saul, received a total of 53 Emmy nominations. 53 in its entire time span, and it won zero of them. It's completely rigged. There is no other explanation for it. I mean, how do you not give the greatest show of all time, which is Better Call Saul, a single win? It's despicable in my opinion. And I'm going to show you guys exactly the winners and how rigged this thing really is. Nobody actually watches the Emmys. I don't know a single person who's like, yeah, we're going to go home and watch the Emmys today. You want to join? No one actually watches it. Everyone just tunes in to see who won. I had to check to who, to see who actually votes on this thing because I couldn't believe the incompetence I was seeing from these idiots. Now, you look at the outstanding drama series. There are obviously some great uh, nominees here. Like Last of Us, amazing show. House of the Dragon, it got better. But there is no way on earth succession wins this over Better Call Saul, especially season six of Better Call Saul. The greatest TV season maybe out of any show ever made. The ending was so good and they didn't even give it a win. Outstanding comedy series. I give it to The Bear also. The Bear is a great show. If you haven't seen it, it's freaking hilarious. Really good. Who the hell is Kieran Culkin? And I'm sure he's a great actor, but... There is no way on earth he can win an award over Bob Odenkirk who absolutely played one of the most iconic TV characters of all time in Saul Goodman. Who even votes on this thing? Who does this? God, it pisses me off because it's like, bro, who, what are you guys watching? These guys are more incompetent than NFL referees. Lead actor in a comedy series, Jeremy Allen White, The Bear. Honestly, I can't even argue with that. The Bear is a really good show, and Jeremy Allen White absolutely kills that role. Really, really good. Lead actor in a comedy series, I haven't seen Abbott Elementary. I don't really know what that even is. Outstanding supporting actor in a drama series. What the hell are these nominees? Bro. You have how many nominees? You have eight nominees, and it's only from two shows. Like, there were so many shows that were made this year. Why are all the nominees only from only two shows? White Lotus, Succession. White Lotus, White Lotus. Succession is the winner. Succession, White Lotus, Succession. Like, how much did these guys have to pay the Emmy, the Emmy voters to win these things? It's disrespectful to every other show that gets made. Oh, of course. Yeah, here we go. Ray Seahorn is Better Call Saul nominee, but she didn't win. Jennifer Coolidge from White Lotus won. Okay, like, I don't need... What the... Again, they're all White Lotus nominees. There's one, two, three, four, five out of the... Is there eight here? Yeah, eight nominees. Five are from White Lotus. Like, how do you have that many people winning or getting nominated from one show? It's completely rigged. That's the only explanation. Okay, uh, yeah, Ebon Moss Buckrock was a really good actor, I will say. In The Bear, he killed it. I'm pretty sure shows bid on who want who they want to win at this point. There's no way this is fair. If you put me in any TV show, if I was in The White Lotus or in Succession, I'd get nominated too, even though I don't know how to be an actor. The guest actresses, why are, all, why are they all from The Last of Us and Succession? It makes no sense. Brother, it's stupid. It pisses me off. Now, television, movie, competition program, I don't really care about these. I actually want to see here on stream as to who votes on the Emmy winners. 17,000 members of the TV Academy are eligible to decide nominees. Are these guys blind? I don't know what is going on here. Like... These guys are supposed to be very highly qualified to vote on this show. How are Emmys awarded? Let's give them the benefit of the doubt here. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Heisenberg is still pissed. Okay, this is a great thing already. Just tell me how it's voted on. I should have to click all these links and scroll all the way down. I don't need a whole history of the Emmys to understand how it's voted on. 
A program performer or individual must be submitted to be nominated. So, okay, you can nominate anybody pretty much. And voters choose the entries they feel exemplify excellence in their categories. That's incredibly, incredibly vague. Tallied and accountants check ballot. All these accountants are paid off 100%. They're completely paid off. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. Emmy voters pick their favorites in all the program categories. So you got a program which no one can actually verify what's going on. No one can actually know who the real voters are or how many votes a certain person received. All you know is the nominees and the winners. That sounds very fair. Absolutely sounds incredibly fair. Oh my God. Bro, just... Please stop the madness. You guys got to start voting on better performers. I mean, how do you have a show, Better Call Saul, the greatest show of all time, in my opinion, 53 nominations in its entirety without a single winner? That's straight disrespect. 